Hi friends, I'm Rita Joy. Welcome to the Harbor Breeze home. Today I have you here in my living room. It's a beautiful sunny day and I decided it's the perfect day to refresh the living and dining room for spring. And I wanted to bring you along to show you all the tips and tricks that I can think of in how I refresh my home decor using what I already have to give it a fresh new look. But first, if you're brand new here, welcome. I thought it would be fun to stroll down memory lane for just a few minutes to let you know what Harbor Breeze Home is all about. I started the blog Harbor Breeze Home over 10 years ago. At that time, we were living on a little island here in British Columbia, Canada, and working at a place that provided housing for us as one of its perks. I, it was a big old farmhouse by the sea. I just loved its historical charm. And that is where I sat up in my little corner office and started writing the blog Harbor Breeze Home. The name was chosen because we lived on a harbor at that time. And little by little, we renovated that house room by room on a teeny tiny budget. And I documented it all on the blog. I will put the link to the befores and afters of the Farmhouse by the Sea in the show notes, as well as a podcast that I gave some more descriptions of those houses. But then a few years ago, we moved to a different place, bought our very first house, and it's a 1200 square foot townhouse. We downsized dramatically, which was an experience all in itself. But that's where the blog is uh, written now. And so it is a bit of a different scenario. We have an empty nest. Today, we're going to tackle a fun little project, uh, which is refreshing the living room and dining room for spring. So let's get started. I get the main space tidied up and the floor vacuumed and mopped, then it's time for the fun part of putting together the decor for whatever season um, we're working with. But today, since this is one of my first videos that I've done here on YouTube in our townhouse, I thought it would be fun to take you for a quick little tour through the main floor of our house showing you what the space is that we're working with and as I do the tour I'll put some links up at the top and down below of the befores and afters of what we've done in each space so come on over and I'll give you a quick little tour Now that we've lived here for a while, I realize there's a few key areas that I focus on when it's time to refresh our space for a new season. And the first one is the Billy bookcase system in our living room. It's one of my favorite pieces that we've added to this place. And so what I'm going to do is take everything off the shelves and pile it like with like, like all the books in one spot, all the wooden frames in one spot, and I'm going to pile it on the coffee table and the main table so I can have it ready if I wanna use some of those things again for its new look. 
one of my favorite tools in my house for so many things is a foldable stepping stool. I'm a short woman, so I use it a lot and it's perfect for this job. I think it's at this stage right here where people get afraid of decorating shelves. It looks so overwhelming. Where do I start? Well, sometimes if I'm at a loss to know where am I going to go, what, what new look can I try this time, I head to Pinterest and type in shelf styling for bookshelves or I just start typing things in and and look at the pictures I see. This year I typed into Pinterest cod English cottage style. I thought that would be fun and I found some ideas of some new looks I could try using things I had. So with English cottage style they use china so I'm going to try to incorporate some china along with the old books and the wooden things and we'll just see how it comes. I start at the top shelf first and work my way down. I just finished both bookshelves and I thought I would take you through my thought process as to how I got it to this spot. Honestly, it's a lot of experimentation and um, standing back and looking at it from a distance and seeing if I like it or not. So I thought I was going to start using an arrangement of my china teapot and cream and sugars at the top. Once I got them in there, it just looked too bland. And so I went a different direction and decided to feature lots of antique books this time, which I have a, a pretty good, well, this is most of them. So I have a good collection of antique books that I just love. And so I wanted to point out some of the little things I've learned through studying what other people do with bookshelf styling. One of the tips is that you work in triangles. So diagonally, you've got books here, books here, books here. So that triangle is very pleasing to the eye. The other thing is to put larger items together to make an impact gives it weight and it's just easier to look at than a bunch of tiny little things. So I needed something large over here and I, I found this pot that I had had and I just put some faux greenery in. Some of the things I always like to put in shelves are greenery and a little bit of black. So you'll see here I have green here, green here, and then down on the bottom, which you, you can't see right now, is some more green. So greenery and then look in your dish cupboard too. You can use some really fun um, dishware, can add to bookshelf styling. And those are just a few little tips. The other thing is this wooden box here on the bottom, which looks really cool, is also functional. It's what's, what we keep our remotes in for the TV. So it looks great on the shelf but it also serves a practical purpose. Now I'll take you back and show you both bookcases from a distance so you can see all the shelves and kind of how they work together. Above the couch, wall art, is another place you can change the decor up for the seasons. I love to incorporate vintage art in my decor, and I have a whole library of free vintage art printables on my blog. I'll put the link in the notes below. I recently just used a large frame with one large vintage print. Because we don't have overhead lighting in our living room, these wall sconces with a little remote to turn them on works great. And of course, pillow covers are a quick and easy change up of nice down pillow covers and you can change the look for this season by just putting on different pillow covers. This time it's simple striped pillows and a Claude Monet on the wall. Now let's tackle the shelves in the dining room and give them a new look. I'm going to 
going to give you a little tour and see how it looks after I've changed and tweaked and moved things around. And you will see that really there's not a lot of different items in this space, but they've just been moved around and it gives it a fresh new look. Thank you so much for joining me today at the Harbor Breeze Home Spring House Tour. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you want to be notified of other new videos. Until next time, toodaloo!